evening, everyone. Tonight, we're learning more about the training and equipment used in rescues. Channel 5's Trace and Bragg spoke with somebody about their harrowing or experience in Ed Couch. When we spoke to Angel Garcia in his hospital bed, he was surrounded by his family. He says he thanks God that he is alive right now. Angel Garcia is a father of three. He and his wife have been together for decades. He says he's worked as a welder and repairman at Garcia Grain and Trading for 12 years. He gets up and goes to work every day to provide for his family. He says yesterday during a repair, something went horribly wrong. I was repairing a damaged pipeline. I put on my harness and secured myself as much as I could. The problem was the cable that ran over the pipe. As I was descending, that cable made me lose my balance, and I flipped over, so I wasn't on the pipe anymore, I was under it, how you could see. He says after falling off the pipe and finding himself dangling 130 feet in the air, there wasn't much he could do but wait for help. The only thing I was doing was praying and thinking that everything was going to be okay. Approximately an hour and a half later, he was rescued. He says he could hear the screams and cheers from people on the ground happy to see that he was finally safe. Once on the ground, he was rushed to the hospital. He says being stuck in a harness 12 stories in the air in the hot sun has taken a toll on his body. Because of the time I was up there, they told me I had built up fluid, which is why I will be in the hospital for about four to five days, so that fluid can go away and not damage my kidneys. Garcia says he wanted to say one thing to his rescuers and supporters. I would like to thank them on behalf of me and my family. They utilized everything in their reach to put me out of harm's way. And I'm very thankful to all the fire departments and all the people that have supported me with their prayers affection. Garcia says most of all, he is just grateful to be alive. He is looking forward to getting back to work, but he says he'll think twice before climbing a silo again. We will continue to track Garcia's condition and keep you updated with the very latest. In the studio, Trace Bragg, Channel 5 News at 10.